wanted to share with you uh, something that's been bugging me. The I keep seeing in the viral group people who say that they're going to return a viral because they ran a campaign and it just didn't what go viral. And I guess your definition of viral has to be specific um, because viral to some people could be 500 leads viral to other people could be a hundred thousand uh if uh wilco were to post uh what he calls the viral coefficient uh you might see something a little different and what i wanted to show you was an example of a campaign that i assisted with uh, it's not finished yet, and I just f was talking to the young lady who is running the campaign, and she is jumping up and down ecstatic because she has gone over her goal of 500 leads. And I asked her to show me her stats, and that's what I started showing before I switched over to this view. Uh, but I would like to go over that with you for just a second and explain to you kind of how she's getting there. And the fact that 500 leads for her, because they're targeted leads, is awesome. She's very excited about that and very happy with the performance of Up Viral. So it all goes back to what Bradley and Tobin and Arthur and many of us are saying, if I can pull out all the right names out of my head, it's all about the offer, right? All right, so let me just show you the screen. What I have is a campaign. I grabbed a screenshot from what she was sharing with me earlier. And there's a couple of things to look at. So she's actually running two campaigns. That's not important. And she will be over 500 by the end of the day. Uh, she's got a couple of days before her campaign ends on the 14th. And a lot of us sometimes focus on this compound conversion rate, uh, which is a good number to look at. I'm, they're all good numbers. Uh, but I want you to look down in this category, uh, referred visitors and referred signups. And this, this section is something I look at quite often. Uh, and if you notice in this particular campaign, she's got at, at this time in this campaign, 500 visitor or total leads, 173 of them, if you look here, are direct, and 326 of them are referred leads. Now that's, that's a pretty good viral coefficient. That's almost, if you take 175 times two, uh, that's almost two for one. So for every single direct lead, she's getting approximately 200, I'm sorry, approximately two additional uh, leads from the viral or from the sharing. To me, that's pretty astounding. That's awesome. In one of the campaigns I just finished, uh, we had a viral coefficient of about three. So we were getting three leads for every single person that came in. That you can't ask for more than that. Yeah, we all want 100,000 leads. We all want campaigns that do 10,000 leads. Uh, it's not always going to happen that way. And in especially in, in her particular case, uh, hers are pretty much exactly what she was after. And uh, let me show you. Uh, I have to, because I'm using um, a sketch and I just drew on my thing. So I need to come over here. This is her lead page. Here it is. Now, when we first worked together, when we first talked, she was planning on offering a $200, $250 Amazon gift card. Uh, so I asked her, I said, well, what is your target market? And this is where we got on the phone. Uh, and her target market, and she is in the horse business. She is uh, creating a website that is all about horses. And I said, so why would you 
give away an Amazon gift card. Long story short, after that conversation, she went back and worked with her partners, and they came up with what I think is kind of a brilliant idea, because I didn't even think about this. Uh, we were talking about what kind of a gift they could give that would specifically attract horses. So here's what they came up with, and I am just, I am so proud I have to share this. They have a field in here which says, give us your first name, last name, email address, and the name of your favorite tack or feed store, because that's where they're going to give you the gift certificate. Let that sink in a little bit. So not only are they specifically going after horse people, but by having this field down here on the form, if you were coming in and you're not a horse person, you're going to go, well, I don't know a tack or feed store. And so you're probably just going to go running away screaming, right? So you're limiting the people coming into the campaign. And... Uh, you're coming up with, I think this is brilliant, they're actually getting a list of, because this is a empty te a, a text field, so they're getting a list of potential clients to market, to advertise on their website. So this is doing like double duty, and they're getting the leads that they're after. And so I want you to think about how impactful that is. So the 500 leads that she's gotten out of this one campaign, and again, they've run a second campaign at the same time with a different product, has a different price, and they have another, I forgot what she said, 200 people. So they're over 700 people. And they started with a list of 150. And so they sent emails to that, that list. And so they've They've virtually grown their list by 700, almost 700 people, uh, which is phenomenal for them. And they're going to do another campaign after this. And they're going to seed that new giveaway with this 700 plus people, uh, plus the 150 they already had. And so every campaign doesn't have to be this massive, huge success in terms of Oh, I had to have 10,000 leads or it wasn't viral. To them, to them, this is incredibly valuable, uh, well worth the expense and time putting this together. Uh, it's been a thrill consulting with her because she's very eager, uh, very happy to learn, coming up with own ideas, uh, brilliant ideas like the tack and feed store name. And so that's, in my opinion, that's the way you run a campaign. And I hope that some of the people that wish that their campaign had gone viral would consider some of these things. And if you, I've, I've heard this a thousand times too, I would much rather have a list of a thousand people who are highly passionate about my product. Let me switch views. Um, I got to learn how to use this tool, right? I would much rather have a list of a thousand really highly active passionate people about my target market than 100,000 or 10,000 people that don't give a rat's patootie about my product and they'll end up opting out of my list or they'll market as spam. And so it's all really about building your target market. And so that's my tidbit takeaway for today. Uh, a couple of tidbits in there. I think it's very valuable set your expectations, make sure you're going after the right market. And if you get more than one lead for every person that signed up then directly, then you're doing great. And just keep building. So again, I'm Planet Mitch from GiveawayRocket.com. If you want to work with me, uh, just give me a shout and we'll figure out how we can make things happen.